Good day everyone, welcome and I am here again to share something on this video. I am privileged to meet again one of our acquaintances, a friend and co-international students in the United States Air Force, specialized undergraduate pilot training in Columbus Air Force Base, Mississippi. Just like him, I was also given a chance to train and qualify as a pilot in the United States Air Force. But wait, before I will proceed to our main topic on this video, allow me to encourage you to click that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up by liking this video, and if you wish to be recognized on the next video, just leave a comment down below. Hello everybody, my name is Sergeant Lloyd Luna, Philippine Air Force Reserve. Subscribe now sa Captain Tools TV. Captain Tools TV. See you there. Thank you. Bye. Look, two F-15Js from Japan have safely landed at Clark Air Base, Mabalakat City, Pampanga as part of the Japan Air Self-Defense Force fighters goodwill visit in the Philippines. One of the goals of the said training exchanges is to enhance the partnership and alliance between the Philippines and Japan through its Air Force. It was very remarkable that this event makes a historical record just landed since the start of the second world war in 1941 this year 2022 is the 81st year thereafter that japanese fighter planes were seen on the philippine skies and diplomatically landed on the philippine soil this event is just the start of various sequel in the ties between the Philippines and Japan. We could expect a lot more of engagement and interoperability as we go further in cultivating this partnership. Expectedly, when the visiting forces agreement between the two parties will be signed, we will be seeing a lot more training engagement and military exercises between Japan and the Philippines. As mentioned by the bit of Indonesia, the Japan Air Self Defense Force that visited the Philippines. So far, the Philippines is the first Asian nation that hosted the Japan Air Self Defense Force fighter plane outside its country. So, let us hear that message during the historical visit and landing of two F-15Js at Air Force City, Philippines. First time ba to? First time. First time. Uh, First time. Yung iba sa po, F-18 sa F-15. F-15 Japan. Next na yan, yung F-2 na nila. Okay. Yan, all up. So, Tours TV to ha? Tours TV to. I believe this, is, this visit marks very important milestone in the history of defense exchange between Park and just the Okujetai. 
And I also appreciate the fact that the Philippines has become the first ASEAN country to host a visit of Kokujetai F uh, fighter jet. I think this fact shows a strong relationship between PAP and Kokujetai. The purpose of this visit is further to promote mutual understanding and advance defense exchange between PAP and Kokujetai. And I'm very sure that Kokujetai will continue to enhance operative relations with PAP for the sake of peace and stability in both countries and in the Pacific region as well. Kokujetai no minasan ni mojagimasu. Members, you should be very proud to have been a member of this historic visit to the Philippines. I would like to, would like to ask all of you to deepen mutual understanding and personal friendship with your counterpart in power. Young Wingman Pasmit. 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 Young Personally, I was surprised to know that one of the two Japanese pilots was my friend and one of my schoolmates in the 14th Flying Training Ring, United States Air Force. And we had our pilot training in Andos and so Nice to see you again. Now we're really a captain, Masaki Amagasi. I am very happy to see you again. Exchanging of safe flights, clearer skies, and safest landings always to you, my friend. Till we meet again. <laughs> Talaga namang nakakatuwa nang makita ka ng isang kaibigan sa hindi inaasahang pagkakatao. That's all for this video. For more updates, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell icon so that we will see each other again on the next video here at Tools TV.